behold, Dayla Hayes, the greatest YouTuber of all time. If you don't agree with me, bite me! Okay, seems like the mic's working, so yo and hello, welcome to the Idiot's Lounge, another episode of Super Seducer 2. If, uh, if you can hear me, please press 1 in the chat. Cool beans, that works too, Terry, good enough. Uh, so yeah, like I said, thank you, Frosted. Uh, the, uh... OBS is just running a little slow right now, so when I'm trying to s switch over to stuff or whatever, it takes a fair bit. Uh, just going to make sure that uh, game audio is working before I uh, get into it. Come on, pitter patter. We'll get there. Oof. Oh, here we go. Uh, you. <clears throat> so it should be working now. So, how does this game work? So, basically, you're given a bunch of scenarios. You're put in a scenario and you get a bunch of options to see how you play it or for picking up uh, chicks and whatnot. But this level's not going to be like that if we can ever get to it. Drowning me out? Alright, I'll fix that too. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I won't touch that because it, as soon as we start playing, the music volume will automatically go down. Don't worry. Alright guys, let me know how it is for hey, you. Hey Richard, how's it going? It's Leo. Yeah, good man. Hey, do you remember? You're still coming to the comedy club tonight. Yeah, nice one. Hey, could you do me a favour and just make sure you don't bring Mac Mood? That's because uh, last time he was here, he got up on stage. It was an absolute disaster. I had big agents in to see me. He ended up getting more laughs than me when he got his ass out. 
And we'll yeah, see they signed why. Darius Davies instead. Yeah, they probably do regret that now. Anyway, man, cool. I'll see you later on. Cheerio. Bye. just a one-off level. How should the MC introduce Leo? With a jaded introduction? With a Las Vegas introduction? Or with a respectful introduction? Anyone have any uh, thoughts? Yeah, yeah, I don't really care about redos. I just want to burn through this one as fast as possible because, like you said, it's just a big shell. All right, respectful is one uh, mentioned, so I'll go with it. Gentlemen, you're in for a real treat. The penultimate act is a BAFTA winning comedian, Oscar nominee, and the new host of Saturday Night Live, and Miss Princess Meghan Markle's favorite comic. I want you to give him a warm round of applause beginning now. Come on, for Mr. Leo. <laughs> Hello, good evening. <laughs> uh, let's make a breastfeeding joke. Hello, my name's Leo. I saw some terrible the other day, like a woman was thrown out of a cafe for breastfeeding in public. I thought this was terrible. Well, I approve of breastfeeding in public. Do you, do you all approve of breastfeeding in public? Yeah. Fantastic. Get up here. I'm starving. <laughs> First joke. Disgusting hay fever joke. Evil puns, Susan Boyle joke, self-deprecating joke about Scottish food. Anyone you guys want to see? Cringy as possible. Yeah, basically looking at you for us. Did any uh, any preferences that you'd like to see? <clears throat> Puns? All right. I got a new laptop the other day. I turned it on and it ate five bags of chips and then sang a song about getting dumped. It's Adele. I'm thinking about entering America's Next Top Model. She's really fit. I used to have sex with a greengrocer in exchange for vegetables. She gave me her peas. <laughs> Marvin Gaye used to keep a sheep in my vineyard. He'd herd it through the grapevine. <laughs> I, went, I went for a pedicure the other day. Went for a pedicure. It didn't work. I'm still attracted to children. Ooh. I'm joking, my toes are absolutely disgusting and I'm still attracted to children. <laughs> hey everyone, we've got a special guest in the audience tonight. My friend Richard is here. Everybody say hello, Richard. Hey, everyone. Hey. And ladies, Richard's single. Richard, I'm going to try and find you a girlfriend tonight. All, all the single ladies make some noise. 
Sorry, Richard, I, I tried. <laughs> a hashtag me too joke. Joke about fitness challenges or self-deprecating stuff about being tall. Frosted, any preferences? All right. Maybe I'm getting older, but I don't understand all the stuff that people complain about these days. Like, like some of the Me Too stuff. Like, I totally get it. Guys like Harvey Weinstein. That guy's an animal. You know what I mean? That guy should be in jail. But some of the other people, like somebody complained that Dustin Hoffman asked her for a blowjob like 20 years ago or whatever, and she felt uncomfortable. It's terrible that she felt uncomfortable, but that's how we get blowjobs. You gotta be proactive about it. You gotta get out there, and start asking the tough questions. You can't just sit at home on your couch waiting for a face to fall on your dick. <laughs> like, man, I've got to do all, do all the, like, chasing in relationships. We've got to get out there, like, do the, like, if women just met us halfway, if, like, a woman came up to me and was like, do you want a blowjob? I'd be like, yeah. yeah. Then I wouldn't have to ask anybody for a blowjob. I don't know what's going on with my testicles. They're the weirdest part of the human body, all wrinkled up. Mine, mine look like Gordon Ramsay's forehead, like if he was a werewolf. And, and they're constantly moving, constantly doing this weird slow dance, just gently adjusting, like gently rolling over each other, <laughs> adjusting for heat or optimal sperm production or something. Like, have you ever sat and watched this? Like, not mine. Like, have you ever, Richard, have you ever sat and watched your testicles? Yeah, they just keep moving. Yeah, yeah, this is a wise man who knows the pleasures of looking at, looking at your testicles. If you haven't seen this, go, go to the toilets after the show, have a look at your testicles. If you don't have testicles, don't worry, just follow Richard, he's going to give a demonstration. Yeah. <laughs> Next joke should be a boot. Sex, nightclubs, fat activists which always sounded contradictory to me, but whatever. Doing shit on a holiday. Frosted, the choice is yours. Terry wants to see D. I want to hear what... Factivist, got it. You gotta watch what you say these days. Like, people get so offended. I was doing this show in America last year, and I did, like, a little joke about, you know, a fat person or whatever, and somebody in the audience thought I was being mean to fat people, and I was. Uh, but they, they thought I was being mean to fat people, and they got really angry about it, and they went away, and they blogged about it on the internet with their pudgy little fingers. And then I was doing this show in London, and I'm not joking, because of this blog, fat activists turned up to demonstrate against my show. I know, Terry, that's show. what I did. I'm not joking, <clears throat> halfway through the show, these fat activists stood up, kind of slowly, and they were like, we are fat activists. And I had to agree with them, they were fat as fuck activists. I mean, I mean that's got to be a tough job, by the way, being a fat activist, because if you get too active, you might stop being so fucking fat. But... I managed to get away by, uh, by walking up a flight of stairs <laughs> and they just stayed at the bottom and they were like, uh, there's a vending machine here, we'll, we'll leave it. Yet yeah, nothing's harder than trying to make women come. Like the female orgasm is the hardest thing to, to achieve in the world. <laughs> like my ex-girlfriend, we, we used to be in bed, like me coming, I'm, I'm, I'm so quick. I'm so quick, I'm like, I'm like, uh, I'm precision engineered in Germany or something. I'm like the Google search engine, like, yeah, there'll be 2.5 teaspoons of semen in 0 0.0016 seconds. Like, my ex-girlfriend would be lying in bed and she'd be like, she'd be like, make me come, give me an orgasm. Well, I've got no idea why she sounds like a Scottish man, but she'd like, make me come. And uh, it, was, it was like, it was like the internet download bar. Like, it's going to be 30 minutes, it's going to be 10 minutes, it's going to be 1 minute, it's going to be 30 seconds, it's going to be 5 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 seconds, it's going to be 30 minutes. Testicles on a holiday. Supermarket checkout or more shit puns. This guy's actually telling jokes though, and I just gave a TED talk about being raped. Yep, Terry's not wrong. 
There he is, not wrong. <clears throat> Figured that might be the case. Yeah, I love watching football. I walked past this pub that was showing the World Cup final, and I had a sign outside saying 22 men, one cup. Oof. But that sequel's got a bigger production value. I also like watching women's weightlifting in the Olympics, because I love to see a good clean snatch. I mean, I love to see a good clean snatch and jerk. Am I right, guys? All right, party time. I saw the German Chancellor the other day. She had a triangular pubic wig. It was an angular merkin. Then I saw the Israeli Prime Minister. He said, he said, Leo, you can't email me. I'm not in Hotmail. I was like, Ben, do you mean not in Yahoo? Man, if you like jokes about the Middle East, oh man, you ain't seen nothing yet. Just Kuwait. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, in Iran, everybody's scared of spiders, but in Iraq, no phobia. I went to the Middle East recently to get a suntan, but I came out my hotel, I was like, bah, rain. I thought it was gonna be Sunni, but the weather was Shiite. I had Dubai an umbrella. I've got nothing against Islamic fundamentalists. I just don't like it when they ram it down my throat. <laughs> I'm gonna go and fire my agent now. Um, goodbye. Leo Curse. Well, I knew he was going to be bad. I didn't know he was going to be shit. Do not worry. We will not be asking him back again. We will not be paying him. And if anybody wants to give him a slap, he will be in the car park in five minutes. Leo Curse. It was making me uh, smile there too, Frosted. Honestly, so at least I'm you're not really alone. Sorry. So yeah, you chose a bunch of the shit jokes and got the worst ending, so yeah, well done. Yeah, those jokes really weren't very funny. Fuck you. Not Richard deciding it's Charlotte. That sounds like a shitty deal on the Uncle Jeezy. Sorry to hear, man. Show me what you need. Let's move on, shall we? It's time to settle down and find the one. Can you make the right moves and not throw it by choosing the wrong one? Ooh, another ruin scene. Kind of in Hey, sir. Yeah. Oh, this broad. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're still good? Okay, great. Well, where are we gonna go? Because I wanna go somewhere where the guys are nice. I'm so sick of these players. Okay. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Okay, yeah, let's do that. What time? Eight? Frosted, Seven. the answer to your question is yes. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> That's what I said to him. Yes. <laughs> Where to hang out in the bar? Sit in the corner or in the middle of the bar? I have a feeling this is the wrong answer. We can try this one? Yeah, we can. Oh, I think we should sit here. Okay, let's try. Yeah, this is good. I think this is good. Really? I think it's better there. No one can see us. Can yeah. You? We should try to choose this one. So obviously they want to be approached and standing in the corner, you know, kind of close to the people, that's not the best way to proceed. Most guys wouldn't be confident enough to get in there. Just as I thought, this is the wrong one.
Which is this? What about this one? Um. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This is good. This. I like it. Perfect. <laughs> this is always a great place to start if you're trying to catch someone's eye. Mm -hmm. People are walking by, people are ordering drinks, mm -hmm. and so it's easy for a guy to start a conversation if you're if you're there versus in the corner just having yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> make sure you're noticeable, you're confident if you're standing in the middle of the room. Mm -hmm. No. Step one, make sure she's not wearing so tell it. Tell me about your holiday. Oh, it was amazing. The weather was beautiful, the oh, beach. Really? Oh, and what about guys? Of course there's guys. Right. <laughs> but you have to go. Amazing. Well, obviously the wrong answer is this. Men love it when you look moody. Really? Yeah. Do you feel it work? 100%. As we saw last time she was in, this does not work. This is rather ridiculous and cringy, which is why I'm making her do it. No, what? not very good. So if you're not looking approachable, oh, most guys right. wouldn't Fuck approach, off. right? Absolutely. So, ladies, what can I get you? Um, I'll have a gin and tonic, please. Yeah, me too, please. <laughs> yes, for us, the feminist approach. Be cold to him. He might be trying to hit on you. Be friendly to him and get his name. Pick your nose and eat it so he won't be interested. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even have to ask, Terry. Me too, him. Good one. What? No, can't you think of anything else that could make it obvious? Just when you think you figured Richard out. Not really. Um, I no. mean, no, no, no. Okay. Keep it classy. <laughs> Stay classy, my friends. So, what do you think about this bar? Yeah, I think it's a really good bar. <laughs> I think I know which one you guys are going to pick. <clears throat> Pretend to be lesbian and put on a show. Just look at your friend and don't pay attention to other people. Make brief eye contact and smile. This, you're absolutely right. This game is retarded. And yeah, I knew it. Lesbo it is. I have a great idea. Oh, really? About time. <laughs> that should get things started. This will get attention, but what kind of attention? Yeah, I think All it's the, right the wrong kind. kind of attention. Especially if you're looking for a long-term relationship. Shh, just let it happen. So it looks like yeah, I've know, got to right? find a new job. Really? Yes. I don't want to. I love the people I work with, you know? Yeah, see. But don't worry. I'm sure you'll find the better one. Yeah, I guess oh, so. It'll be fine. Go. It'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> Roger. Louise. Roger. Sarah. And here we go, boys. So. How's life? Great. Shows up in a get with flannel and a fucking pair of shorts. This is going to be fun. 12 minutes later. Holy shit. Where do you live? Out back in a trailer. So, kind of live on my mate's couch at the moment <laughs> because my mum kicked me out and my dad also kicked me out. And then my stepdad kicked me out. But well, that's fine because, you know... <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Oh my because God. they don't like me, I don't like them. So we kind of just meet in the middle in this like really cool vibe thing where we're sort of like together. It's sort of like just mutual, you know, don't really care about each other, which means makes me really like independent this is and forward. And I love it. Because I don't need them and they don't need me. 
and I think that's really cool. She does. <laughs> if you put something in your drink, drink, drink. it. Very yes. nice. Try some. If you put something in his drink, drink it. That's good. More time for me, wink. Reject him. I want to see how this plays out. How about you boys? Oh, yeah. Any opposed? That's majority rules. Oh, Roger. I love a man with daddy issues. More time for me. <laughs> so it's not the way to handle it in most cases, right? No, I mean, if she also had family issues, then maybe they could have found some common ground and they could have had a conversation there, but she just cut that off straight away. Fine. I think this is quite a clear indication that she doesn't want. Oh, to you don't, be... we don't even get to see how. I don't know. Want her, any interaction between us? <laughs> yeah, this one. Um, the right answer was to reject him because he has uh, problems with his family, bad relationships. So, ah. what do you think of that? Yeah, this is an interesting one because I think if she was also to have bad relationships with her family, just said then this. maybe they could connect on a mutual basis but maybe if she has a very good relationship with her family they might clash later on how to reject them ask barman to help you deal with him quickly and politely embarrass him viciously Ooh, do i even have to ask pull a switchblade on him <laughs> oh i don't see the option yeah i thought so that's two for C, three for C, majority rules. <clears throat> oh my God, has everybody seen this guy? I mean, it's no wonder your parents can't stand you. You're an idiot. What are you wearing? You look like a five-year-old. I mean, as if you thought you could come over to me and have a chance with this. I don't think so. Roger. Hey, it's Rich Boy. Very cruel, poor guy, and also everyone else is going to see it. So other guys would be terrified <laughs> to approach. Now he goes right. home and hangs yes, himself. This Aww. isn't going to get you the outcome that you want. Roger, you're a lovely guy, but um, we're waiting for some other guy friends to come, so thanks for chatting with us. Right. Okay, so she's rejected him, that's right. And then the way to do it, um, should you be like really harsh and horrible or, or was it right to? No, absolutely, always have self-respect and be polite to others. I think that's always the best approach. Because also other guys are watching and if you're awful, rude, you humiliate him, then uh, they'll be scared to approach as well. What a shame. Poor guy. I mean, it's not his fault, but too many issues. I could never date a guy like that. Yeah, I see. Did you see this guy behind you? He looks really cute. There he does. Doesn't he look familiar? Had to get his attention. Like two minutes of time familiar. <laughs> He's got coke, take him back. How to send signals to the cute guy. Go to the bathroom, walk slowly, hold eye contact with as you pass. As you go past, do something sexy with your tongue. Drop something. 
bend over so you can see your ass in all its glory. Open your body language to him and glance over from time to time. Audience participation time starts now. Terry says, I think D is the most direct approach. Hmm. I, is that what D stands for? Direct? Hmm. That's fair. That's fair. Use a banana to test your gag reflex. <laughs> All right, let's go with D. This is how you get his attention. The old bend and snap. <clears throat> She makes it look so cringy, like more cringy than it has to. So this one, I'm gonna say, is actually probably not bad if uh, you know she's looking for something casual. Really? But for a serious relationship, yeah. it's maybe not the first thing you want a guy to notice. No, I think it's gonna be sending out all the wrong messages there. Mm -hmm. Go to the bathroom, walk slowly, hold eye contact with Lizzie Pascoe. Do something sexy with your tongue. Drop something. Open your body language to him, glance over from time to time. Probably A and E are the right answers, so I'm gonna go say, you guys pick between B and C. Why is the pickup artist guy obviously gay? <laughs> if the something sexy with your tongue is licking his shaft, go with that. He's always rubbing on dude's shoulders and shit. Drop something in your panties. Uh, it's part of his punishment. When you get the wrong answer, he has to do something uh, demeaning or whatever as a punishment. Uh, that's why. <clears throat> like, he'll uh, file their nails or have them... Uh, Threaten his balls with a baseball bat kind of thing. So let's see. Uh, let's go. D was mentioned first. We'll go with that. Watch and learn. This has got to be cringy as hell. Yep. It's the face, man. He's like, I heard that, and no. Maybe I the wrong kind away. of attention here. Yeah, too sexy, or the or the wrong kind of sexy. And then drop something was mentioned, so let's see what happens here. If he's not gay, he's gonna be. This works every time. Well. Right, every time. Yeah, <laughs> he's chuckling. No, not the best option. Have you ever done that? Tried to? No, I mean, I'm clumsy and I drop things, but not on purpose. <laughs> I think this woman looked up how to be sexy on WikiHow or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah. You girls seem like you're having a nice time. Like I said, it's Rich Boy. I'll, uh,. You all lower classed. Be cold and difficult. Be quite friendly. Be very friendly. Say, you're the one I've been searching for. Ooh, I think I know which one you guys will pick first. Crazy bitch. 
It's a little bit too intense. A little bit intense, a little bit insincere. Shall we be cold and difficult, quite friendly or very friendly? This bitch more emotional than AOC at a refugee camp. <laughs> uh. Or even just a regular wire fence. <laughs> Let's try this one. Yeah, we're having a lovely evening, thanks. Cool. Cool. Uh, well, I'll just, um, I'll get a drink, please. <laughs> he looks like a computer kind of guy. Just walk up to him and ask what he thinks of your card. Chicken heads always playing games. Yeah, I agree, Terry. See, this is wrong because a lot of good guys are quite shy mm -hmm. and so they're going to be put off if it's too hard. I think anyone would be put off. You know, it's not good to be cold and difficult if you're looking for a relationship. But a player guy might persevere and a good guy would just think, you know what? But you're not going to get the best outcome from it. Agreed. Shall we be quite or very friendly? Use him to make other guy jealous. Time to be a real bitch. All right, B. Yeah, we're having a really nice evening, thanks. Nice, what are you drinking? Uh, gin and tonic, how about you? Uh, whiskey, bourbon. Nice, I yeah. love this bar. Yeah, it's a good bar, it's a nice Thank place. You. So he's approached, yeah, and if you're super, super friendly, call, maybe Terry. it's too much, because why would she be so friendly immediately? Uh, if she's too tough, he might get put off, so yeah. the middle ground is the right choice. Yeah. If in doubt, the middle's always right, right? Mm. I'm Nick. Hi, I'm Louise. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is my friend. Hi, I'm Sarah. Hi, nice to meet you, Sarah. I'm Nick. How to find out whether he's a party boy. Ask what are his favorite bars and clubs and which nights are good where. Do you often go out and get wasted? How many girls have you fucked in the past month? Ask him where to get some cocaine. Oh, I know the answer that needs to be picked. It's a good bar. Hardly any extras. <laughs> Just thinking that too. That place is empty. Yeah, you're right. I knew D was going to be the one you guys wanted to see. So, uh, know anywhere where we can get any of the, uh, strip of salt? Carling? A little strip of salt? You know, the white stuff. You know? Snow white? Snow. You know, powder. You know? Nose candy. Um. You know? <sighs> cocaine, mate! Is there any cocaine? Is it just a. Yeah. Um, Just as you hit enter, I said it there first. My died of a cocaine-induced heart attack last year, so... Um, hmm. You'd love this place. Oh, Poor Charlie. If you're looking for a serious relationship, asking for cocaine, probably not good, right? Charlotte, would you No, think? that's probably definitely not a good move. Unless a good person to ask she's for looking for a serious relationship really with a successful know. drug dealer. Sugar daddy, baby. And I think C's gonna be the next choice you guys pick. <clears throat> Poor Louise, she gets stuck with one dickhead with a tragic story. Second guy you made suicidal in one night. <laughs> No, we made. We. We're in this together, boys. 
So, um, how many girls have you fucked in the last month, would you say? Like, just, uh, uh, like, roughly. Like, because, honestly, tonight, I'm out celebrating finally being clear of gonorrhea, and I want to know that you're nice and clean. Um, uh, well, none, actually, in the last month. And um, I uh, advise that you start practicing safe sex. Uh, have a nice, disease-free evening, ladies. Shouldn't have mentioned the gonorrhea, should I? What tipped you off, love? Awful question. <laughs> My uncle died of a heart attack while fucking. <sighs> oh. So, where do you like to go out? Like, what's your favourite bar or club? Um, well, I don't really go to clubs, to be honest. Um, I like going to pubs, uh, you know, nice little sort of chill out bars, listen to some live music, a bit of jazz maybe, that sort of thing. Nice. That's the right choice. Uh, this is a sneaky one. So uh, women often have some kind of subtext when they're Always speaking. Always have subtext. Always. I yeah. would say so. So what's the undercurrent here? What she's trying to do is find out if he's a party boy. So if he's going to say, oh, on Monday I go there, on Tuesday I go there, and Wednesday that place is good, then she's immediately, she might be saying, oh, wow, that's great, yeah. But she's thinking, oh, OK. No time for me. Party boy. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, so you girls seem quite tight. Have you been friends for a long time? or? Yeah, we've been best friends since school. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm friends with a lot of my pals from school as well. Ah, it's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> test, how to test his intelligence? Find out how intelligent he is by the size of his ball sack. Oh, I know where this is going. What happens when we die? Find out whether he knows whether whiskey is bourbon. Ask him to solve a math problem. What do you think we should pick? <laughs> Good on you, Terry. Anyone else agree with him? All right, let's do it. Look, Nick, um, we are so sick and tired of stupid men. Right. Um, I've got a little test. Okay. Do you mind if I do my test? No, no, no. Cool. Just no. test your intelligence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? Cool. Okay. Just relax. Okay. 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 Oh. <coughs> you see, I just, I just feel the size of your balls and, 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 and I can tell how intelligent you are. <laughs> the fact that he let you do that, he's not that intelligent. <laughs> oh, they're pretty good. Oh, well done. <laughs> Give that about IQ of a 145. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You'll do. Nice. Not anymore. Spare the rod, spoil the child. You heard this one, uh, Charlotte. It's quite a new scientific theory. Really? <laughs> no. The My I've family died in a ball I'm squeezing accident. Whether that's true science. Save some of these for quiplash there, or for footage there, uh, Frosted. What happens when we die? Find out whether he knows whiskey is bourbon. Ask him to solve a math problem. Which shall it be? <laughs> I mean, like, for your lives, like, uh, one day in the future when uh, Terry and I forget about this, uh, just one day be like, uh, when it comes to uh, your truth and lies thing, be like, uh, my family died, <laughs> my uncle died of a heart attack while fucking. Do you know what, Nick? I'm going to be honest with you. I'm sick to death with stupid men. What's 462 
times four. Divided by three. Add one. Fifteen. No? No. I don't uh. think so. Thanks for your time anyway. Have a good night. Cold bit. Hang on. Do you know the answers to those sums? It's not the point, is it? It's about you. Uh, what was the first one? I can't remember. 462 times 4. 400. Divided by three plus one. Not the best way, right? To find no. out if she's intelligent. No, she could be a little bit more clever about this one. The only collect the only correct question. Is that bourbon? Yeah. You know bourbon's not real whiskey, right? Uh, well, actually, all bourbon is whiskey, but not all whiskey is bourbon. See, the difference between bourbon and, say, a Scotch whiskey or a Japanese whiskey or even a Canadian whiskey is that bourbon is made from rye, 51% rye, actually, and nearly <laughs> all of the bourbon in the world grapes. is made in Tennessee. You're not wrong, we all got because our kids my dad frosted. was a distiller. Well, there you go. And I like a man who knows his facts. So this is another moment where um, she's testing. I think it's quite useful to think that a woman might have, uh, you know, criteria for what she looks for in a man, and then she's kind of ticking off <laughs> the boxes. See, By not simply now you know him, she, but she, he's smart, but also boring. Test him. Yeah. So if if she's looking for an intelligent guy, she might have, you know, a few different ways of of testing him out. Or an alcoholic, or both. Um, I'm a big fan of tennis. Um, I'm a musician, so I play guitar and drums. Um, I like going to watch live music. I like watching live jazz and blues. Um, I'm a big, big, big UFC fan. Um, just the camaraderie of it and the respect and like the brotherhood and how much they love each other. I just, I just think it's amazing. Um, it's not so much about the violence of it. It's more about you know the respect they have for each other. I just find it really moving. Hmm. Say that it's a load of shit. Lie and say you like it too. Say you only like violence in bed. Say that it's too violent, but ask what he likes about it. Say you can tell his lack of muscles that he only watches show, show him a rear naked choke. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> uh... Wait, isn't bourbon from Kentucky? I'm not quite sure. I know there's Kentucky bourbon for sure, but if you're asking if it originated there, I don't know. Uh, this guy was designed by a woman. <laughs> e, time to get physical violence in bed. Uh, okay, that's one for E and one for C. Uh, Uncle Cheesy, do you have a vote? E? All right, two for E. UFC, eh? Well, I can tell you're just a spectator of it. What? You go to the gym? No? Well, oh, don't worry about it, because, right, um, like, I train. Right. <laughs> Quite strong. But can I show you? Can I show you a little, a little move? Oh, yeah. boy. Yeah. OK, so it goes a little something like this. OK, okay you ready? Okay, yeah. just, 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 okay. just keep breathing, 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 relax, 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 rel
<laughs> Every option should end with squeezing his balls. This one's pretty rude, and uh, it could be a, a featherweight or a straw weight or a, one of those guys, yeah? Little exactly. Ones. Just super rude. And now we'll go with C. UFC, yeah? You like UFC? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Because I love a violent man. You know, my, my ex-boyfriend, he was a criminal. He's in prison and then he got out, so it didn't work anymore. But he just had the best violent sex, you know? He was like... Choking him until he blacks out is rude. That's what I want. That's what I want. Violent, rough, hard sex, you know? You up for that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do, you, do, you, do, um, do you like cuddling and making love as well? <laughs> Just... No. No. How basic do you think okay, she cool. is? Okay, cool. Um, Bye. I'm just... I'm um, going back there. <laughs> yeah, you've co yeah, I'm coming. Why are the judges on the set of a gay porno? Wait, idea. I think I know. I do not. The wing call, get away from there. Anywhere but there. Stop I me. need it. No, babe. <laughs> All right. A. B or D? A? Okay. I have a feeling oh, D was probably the correct answer. You want to dance? I mean, don't try and spruce it up as all fun loving and loving each other and caring about each other. UFC! It's just a load of brutes being archaic, tearing each other apart. Oh, brilliant. Yeah? What a waste of time that was. Thanks. Thanks, Nick. You've got it wrong. Completely wrong. This is bad because it's uh, blocking him. Even if you don't share his interest, you could at least find out why he likes it and, you know, that listen for a little bit. D is the yeah. right answer. Otherwise, you're just killing the conversation. Uh-huh. And do you like UFC? Um, I've actually never watched it. Do you like UFC? Yeah, I like it a lot. We always watch it. Oh, great. Look, Nick, I'm... Um going to be brutally honest and I don't know I find UFC a <laughs> right bit wanker he violent was. and a bit brutal yeah yeah um it is violent it is brutal I completely understand where you're coming from um but at the same time there's a lot of technique and there's you know there's a real artwork to it you know I, I never thought of it like that yeah well you know maybe we could uh, watch it together sometime <laughs> maybe <laughs> Okay, it's no longer a gay porno, it's a student art film. Uh, this is good because she is not blocking. A block would be saying, I don't like it, I like dancing or something else. Um, and by giving him a chance to say why he liked it, she's kind of indulging his passion. Yeah, she, yeah, exactly. So it's like we were talking about it earlier, you like running? Yeah, but you don't say, oh, I just don't like running, I hurt myself because then that blocks their interest, but you say, no, I don't like running, but yeah, when... You what know, do you like about it? What do you like it? about what, it, exactly. Yeah. So we're out celebrating because Sarah has just ran her first marathon. Oh, yes. Congratulations. Thank That's you. great. And a whole marathon. A whole marathon. So what's that, 26 miles or something? Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, I will be right back.
and back. Okay. C is the obvious choice. It's hard for me to read them sometimes because I'm saturating my bandwidth download programs for my workstation. Fair enough. And YouTube drops my resolution. Ah, no, that's that sucks, but I, it's understandable. <clears throat> uh, tease him about his hair loss. <laughs> Lightly tease him about how active he isn't. Say he looks like a pedophile. You're absolutely right. Well, that's very kind of you there, Terry. <clears throat> and, yeah, I'm going with Terry. C is the obvious answer to pick. Get 26 miles. It's amazing, isn't it? It's brilliant. Brilliant, yeah. Oh, and she's, she's fast. I mean, really fast as well. Yeah. Probably not as fast as the kids that run away when they see you. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you what do you mean? Well, you look like a paedophile, don't you? I look like a paedophile. But no one's ever said it before. What does a paedophile look like? You. Well, they wear these denim shirts in prison. <laughs> in America. They wear those, all the paedophiles. What and with a white t-shirt underneath. What the fuck are you and talking about? And they're really, about? really, really dodgy beards. You look exactly like a paedophile. You never know. Wow. Wow, no one's, no, no one's ever said that to me before. Oh, um, joke! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good joke. <laughs> bye bye Bitch. <sighs> what, no one's ever said that before? What do you think of that? Not a great tease, right? This is not a very funny joke. And what does a paedophile look like? You. I don't think they have a particular look. Hmm, it's dangerous, you know, you never know. No sense of humor, that guy, clearly. Yeah, 26 miles, it's oh, yeah. amazing, isn't that it? It is amazing, yeah. yeah. What's the furthest you've ever run, like? Oh, about 20 26 meters. meters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, what, what, you a big runner yourself, I know, yeah? Yeah, I do, I run, yeah. Yeah, what do yeah. you run on? In, in a park or on a treadmill? Or yeah, what? in the park. I've got a dog, yeah, yeah. we go running. You got a dog? Yeah. What dog you got? He's a big Weimaraner. Wow, actually. I've never heard of that dog in my life. Have you ever heard of that dog? Oh, okay, it's just me then, sorry. But you don't go to the gym or anything. I don't do go you? to the gym, to be honest, no. I swim in the bath tonight, but that's about <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what do you, uh, what do you bench? Uh, like 180. 180, wow. Drums. Yeah, cool, nice. Bitch, I'm gonna go abduct a child. <laughs> I think you can tease a guy on his style. I think as long as it doesn't go too much into the over-personal. Yeah, I think you can tell. It's a lesson for guys as well. So there's some things that you can tease women about and some things that they would just be, you know, uh, too personal mm. or too sensitive but uh, the other important point here is that it is an indicator of interest usually when a woman teases you so don't don't get worried if women do that to you and also you don't want to be necessarily with a guy who can't take being teased that's why it's a good test yeah so um are you uh are you single or um yeah yeah, yeah i'm single yeah uh, yeah. Oh, guys, it's just too good. My friend is waiting for me outside. I've got to go. I'll call you later, dear. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna stay. Okay, no problem. No shit. Take care. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I look like an adult. Um, man. This is... Cool, so we're both single. That's a good start. Mm -hmm. Check whether he has big ears to see if he has a big dick. Check his bank balance. Ask what he looks for in a woman. Hmm. Toss-up. What do you guys want to see? You need to know, A. Any differing opinions? Nope. Okay, majority rules. He seems such a nice guy. Um, can I just look at your 
here in a second. Um, could you just do, do this? And, um, <laughs> what shoe size are you? Uh, 10. How big's your, um, just, just show me, just, just give me an idea, like, just a rough, just a loose gauge, like. <laughs> you want me to show you, Michael? No, 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 not yet. So I just want you to give me an idea, like, is it more, or is it more? Mm -hmm. Just rough, just rough. Right. And that this is, cock size is important to you, is it, yeah? Well, no, I just want to know. There's a lot more to a relationship than the size of a man's cock, okay? No. So it sounds I like a guy with a small one. Maggot willies for anyone's lifetime. Okay, so I am not. I am not wasting my time again. So just, just, just give me an indication. Do you or know what? Do you know what? You've just missed out on a really good cock. Lie. It was that, wasn't it? X to doubt. Quick thing of an excuse for the ear check. Just check and see if you're one of them. So Charlotte, what, what do you normally oh. check to check? I don't check anything, believe it or not. Terry no. starting to no. hold some buffering, Ears. anyone else? No. Nose. No. It's paused right now. Little finger. I don't, I'm afraid. Circumference of the wrist. Nope. I've never even heard of that one. <laughs> How is it for you now, Terry? You're a nice guy. Um, what do you look for in a girl? Um, <clears throat> a good sense of humour. Um, kind. Someone I can have fun with, someone I can have a laugh with, someone who wants to travel. Um, yeah, someone easy going. Okay, that's good. Don't take themselves too seriously. Let me know if it happens again. Nice. Yeah. This is quite a cool question for women to ask, and guys, you <laughs> might get asked this. Uh, in general, your response, if it just lists the <laughs> physical attributes look, you look for in a woman, uh, it means you're probably not looking for something serious. And if you have kind of thought about what you want in a long-term relationship, then you'll have that already ready to tell her. Yeah, it shows aspiration if you're talking about her character. It, yeah, it seems more thought out. Yeah, there's certain things I really look for in a man. I like. I like a sense of humour and kindness. Yeah. Someone I can get along with, introduce my friends and my family and... This guy is gay. His family is family important to you. His yeah, big tits. Yeah, really important to me. Good. And you seem like you've got a sense of humour. I yeah. like that. Well, it's, it seems like we've got similar values, so... Yeah, it really does. That's, 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 that's a good thing. Yeah. Tell him you need to be married by the end of the year. Ask if he wants kids. Ask his longest relationship. Do I even have to ask what you guys want to see? Her ring. He needs to put her finger What's into a line? ring of its own. I look for a sense of humor, What's kindness, and support line? for the white ethno state. I don't know what you mean. Well, six months engaged, a year married, a year and two months. I want my first child. Then I'm happy to go straight in and have a second because I've heard it's really good for your body just to get back in, pop one out. So um, I don't want having two in like two under the age of 18 months. I think is acceptable. 
then I think we have like a cheeky two year gap, you know, let the kids grow up, really get to know them, have a bit of family bonding time. Then we pop out another three. Then I'm thinking then like, right, okay, here's the deal. I'm happy to settle for a three bedroom house, three bedroom for the first two years, okay? okay. Then I want mansion, I want acres, I want a lake and I want a helicopter pad. I don't want anything less and if you're gonna give me less, you need to tell me now. Um, but I think it's reasonable and it's doable. Yeah, uh, yeah, no. Um, listen, I'm uh, not interested in any of that. Um, so uh, I'm just gonna go. Listen, it's been nice, really nice chatting to you though. I don't and mind sacrificing no, no, the no. helicopter pads. No, 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 it's too much and I'm not interested. Good luck with whatever uh, all of that. Um, but I'm, I'm going. No. Take care. Come on. No, no, mate. Freaky. No, no, no kids for me. Not with you, darling. One kid. Look at the time, I just turned gay. She's a bit desperate now. Yep, a bit too intense. So, um, <laughs> do you want kids? <laughs> do I want kids? Um, um, uh, yeah, one day I guess, yeah, yeah. How many? Um, I don't know, it's not something I've, well I have thought about it, but it's not something I think about very often. I don't know, two, three, four, I don't know. But I, yeah, I want them one day. Yeah. Do, do you? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, it's cool. Cool. Yeah, cheers to kids. kids. Yeah. <laughs> early for that conversation. Yeah, mm -hmm. a little early. We I mean, were talking what initial meeting? Yeah, it's like twenty minutes. So you might as well just plan the wedding date. Right. Got the dress and the backpack. Good way to put guys off. Okay. Good way yeah. to put guys off. So I read this really interesting Harvard study, and it said that seventy-six percent of women would rather their partners have. Um, like a one night stand, rather than having an emotional connection with another person, right? right. But the men are completely the opposite. So 78% of men would rather their partners just have a bit of an emotional connection with someone, but if they had a one night stand or meaningless sex, whoosh. It's mental. How do you feel? Well, I think they're both as important as each other. I think an emotional connection is just as important as having great sex. I think you need both to have a successful relationship. Now, do you agree or? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. But. But what? Why well, didn't expect you to say that? Oh. <laughs> well. Tell him that he shouldn't talk to other women if he dates you. Call his ex for the lowdown on him. Ask about his relationships with his mum and dad. Ask whether he is still on good terms with his exes. <laughs> this looks like it's going to be fun. B. She has the first. She has first-hand experience. Any other? Anyone? Do you guys agree or any other suggestions? All right, B it is. And Uncle Jeezy confirms. 
Um, what was your ex-girlfriend's name? Uh, Catherine. Catherine. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Um, what does she look like? She, so, or just just show she, me a picture. Okay. I see a picture of my ex-girlfriend. Yeah. Really? <laughs> There's nothing weird about that. I'm uh, except everything. Easy breezy. Oh. I just like to know what I'm working with. Wow. <laughs> She's blonde. Yeah. He's <laughs> just letting her use his phone. Oh, um, don't, what, don't do this. No, no, this is, Hello? This is ridiculous. Hello? Oh my God, this hey, is, is ridiculous. Catherine? Please. Hi, Catherine. Yeah, sorry to bother you. Just a quick one, really random. Um, this dude might be gay. ABC, um, always be closing. You're not doing this. Get her homework, get her number. Give, um, could you just Give tell me, me did you used to buy you flowers? Like, I think he's a goodie bed. He's a goodie bed. She died of testicle yeah? squeezing. Yeah, I've got got any daddy issues. I need to know these kind of things, yeah? Okay? Okay, okay that's enough. She's gone. Yeah, she's gone. Surprised, are you, that she hung up? You fucking freak. Well, that was a bit harsh. You're not gonna get a girlfriend talking to people like that. I'll tell you that now. <laughs> this is psychotic, yeah? Yeah. Especially this early on, in fact, ever. Yeah. Um, no, this isn't really acceptable. Never call the exes or message the exes. No, you shouldn't need to. I think this is going to be the obvious choice. I'm like super passionate, like so so passionate, and and I guess some people might worry that maybe it's a bit too much. Like maybe I can get a bit jealous, but I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm really. I'm, I, I don't get jealous. I just like. I just like to know my man is mine. You know, and yeah. um, and, and and so do you have many. Girlfriends, like hey, friends Raymond, that how's it going? Well, yeah, a couple, yeah. They yeah. should have had yeah. a dick pic in the phone in case she swipes through the that's gallery. A problem, <laughs> it's a little bit of a problem, I guess, but I mean, you know, we can phase them out slowly so that they don't get offended and upset about it. We can phase it. them out slowly. Um, family members, you have a sister, did you say? Yeah. And you have a mum? Yeah, I've got a mum. And a grandma? Yeah, normal, like, family members, yeah. A, a, a great-grandma? No, she died, actually. And, um, <laughs> the grandma, she's... Good. She's... How old is she? Uh, my grand... What the... What, 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 we, what we doing? What is this? Look, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want too many females in your life, because... Let's be brutally honest. How can you love me? A hundred percent? If you've right. got to give your energy out to all these females, huh? Right, well. So we can do, we can do, we can like make a little um, calendar and you can call your mom like every Can I just stop, can I just stop you right here? Can I just stop you right? All these women that you're talking about are far more important to me than you are clearly ever going to be. Wow. So this isn't going to work. <laughs> wow. All right, so good luck to the next wanker that walks through the door. Ooh. Definite mummy issues. then he's definitely not going to date you. Uh, do you let guys talk to other women? Yes, of course. Hmm, C or D, fellas? Okay, let's do it. So your um, your ex girlfriend from the six year relationship? Yeah. You, you still on good terms or? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, I wish her well. 
Yeah, I mean, we don't you know, speak all the time, but if we run into each other, everything's you know fine and civil. Yeah, I've not got a bad word to say about that, really. Cool. Yeah. But how about you? Yeah, no. My exes are exes for a reason, but yeah. of course I wish them well. And yeah, um, nice memories and all that, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Mm, cool. I would want to know the reason they broke up. I ah. think that's important as well. That's another good question. And actually, um, you know, this is the right option, but it's also a little bit contrived. You know, this might be something more for a first or second mm -hmm. date. Uh, but it is important information because if he has very bad relationships with his exes and had horrible, horrible breakups, it means that he's um, either choosing the wrong women or he's causing the women to... He's the instigator. Yes. So it's a good one and it works for guys uh, to ask women this question as well. I think it's a solid question. It's just a question of uh, how soon it should be. And I'd say first date, second date is, is a good place. Yeah, I agree. 23 minutes later. All my rings are like important. They all like mean yeah. things from where I've been around the world. What's that one mean? But this one was from Malaysia. Okay. When I was backpacking when I was young. It's very pretty. <laughs> what's, what's this one from? This one is from Nicaragua. Wow. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Yeah, very cool. Mm. About that one? Mm. That's just from London, where I live. Ah. Oh. Cool. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. Give us fun options, fun options. <laughs> I really like you. Oh, come on! Should we grab a bottle of wine and go back to mine? Ooh. Yeah. Fun options coming up. <laughs> what kind of girl do you think I am? Somehow get a condom first because safe sex is important. Say you won't be drinking wine because you're going to be pregnant soon. Logically explain why not, but say you'd be happy to meet him another time. Check his dick size first. Cool, let's go chill together. <laughs> now show him your genital piercings. E, <laughs> it's still important. <laughs> And I know Frost had wanted all endings to end in the bulk squeezing, so yeah, I knew it. Yeah, okay. Come back. Cool. <laughs> I wouldn't usually do this, but... Can I ask just one thing? I mean, it's, yeah. it's silly, it's so small, but it's just... Really important to me. Um, okay. I, um, could I just, um, if you could just, you know, you're. What? No, no. <laughs> what, what's, Come what on. You, no, just what are you? No. Say, I can't just drink do. wine no. because of what all the, the Xanax and no. oxy. <laughs> Jesus. I just want to rough my drink. Oh shit, son. That's okay, a good boy. You're all right. You're all right. That took a dark turn. <laughs> and back to funny. This must be tiny then. Cool. So she took a guy home. Not 
the oh shit no but kidding what do you think of the tape measure <coughs> no <coughs> what the, uh, <coughs> that actually got a, a decent ending holy shit this is always shit. a great place to start if you're trying to catch someone's eye mm -hmm. people are walking by people are ordering wow. drinks mm -hmm. and so it's easy for a guy to start a conversation <laughs> if, you're, if you're there wow. versus in the corner just having yeah. a Make sure that you're noticeable, so you're confident hilarious. if you're standing in the middle of the room. Mm -hmm. Nah, not very good <laughs> yes, since you're not looking right. approachable. Most guys wouldn't approach, right? Absolutely. Oh, my Lanta. Start one more. We still got two, at least a half hour or so before I want to wrap things up. Oh, it's Leo again. Approach the guys at the edge. Approach her directly. Approach the guy opposite her, the one she's talking to. Be f uh, whole group together. Befriend another girl and send her in. What shall it be? See? All right. Anyone else? Okay. Oh. Go E, get shenanigans involving as many people as possible. Guys, how's it going? How's it going? Nice to. Hey, can I try your hat on? This is a wicked hat. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 what's going on? Oh, I thought you guys were friendly. You did. What the hell is going on? Seriously? Who's this guy? What's the problem? I don't know. Terrible. Very good. So this... Try to start a fight. This guy is the hardest to talk to. Um, because he might be the one she's with, and also she's talking to him, so, I don't know. You don't want to interrupt, potentially. Exactly, mm. yeah. Well, if you want as many people as possible, why not whole group together? Oh, oh wait, no, that, oh, I t approach the whole group together. Okay, yeah, then E, good call. What the fuck are the judges doing? Shh, just let it happen. Hey, how's it going? My name's Leo. You look friendly. What's hey. your name? Hey, Leo. I'm Rebecca. Nice to meet you, Rebecca. Nice to meet you, too. Are you from here? Yeah, I am. Are I you? No, no, I'm from Scotland. You can understand my accent, though. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. What are you doing here? Hey, I'm just here visiting some friends. You look really gra glamorous. You remind me of my friend Elsa. Oh, thank you, I guess. Nice one, this is the right option, or one oh, of the wow. right options uh, is something that can work really well if you can find a nice, friendly lady at the bar or even if you go with some female friends. Yeah, and I think that it gives the girl you're trying to approach someone to instantly connect with. Have you ever done that? Mm. Helped a guy? Helped a guy, oh yeah, absolutely. I'm wingwoman number one. <laughs> Bet her that that girl is wearing the same shoes she isn't. Try and get a threesome with her and the other girl. Well, gee, that just seems like the obvious choice right there. That girl said she knows your ex-boyfriend said you are a slag. Ooh, that also seems like an obvious choice. What should it be? B, it's worth a shot? Alright, anyone else? 
threesome. Okay, that's two. Any opposed? Two out of four. Two minus three. Two out of five. All right, threesome it is. Rebecca, you're really pretty, eh? Yeah? Thank you. Yeah, you know who else is really pretty? I mean, apart from me. You know who else? Is that tall girl over there? Oh, yes, she looks yeah. really nice. You know what would be amazing if me, you, and her had a threesome? Wouldn't that be fantastic? <laughs> I, don't, I don't need to take part. I can just watch or I can sit next door masturbating just as long as I know that it's going on. You're disgusting, such a big. Go fuck yourself. Oh, that would have been amazing. A blonde and a brunette. I thought I could recognize the bisexual ones. What's wrong with me? How much time do you got, Leo? Every man's fantasy, but... Not every man's reality, especially if they're looking for a relationship. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I don't want to risk. I'd like to pick C, but I don't want it to be a half right. I'd rather pick it just because it's uh, wrong. So I'm gonna pick A. Go fuck yourself. He said, he said he was willing to do that as long as the two women were banging in the next room. <laughs> yep. Rebecca, you're not gonna believe this. There's a girl over there wearing the exact same shoes as you. Really? Yeah, I'm not joking. Have a look. The tall girl over there. This one? Yeah, yeah. You see her? See her shoes? Same shoes. I don't believe you. I'm not why would I lie about something like that. Look at your shoes. Look at her shoes. Really? Yeah, yeah. Tell so I bet you. I bet you they're the same shoes. Okay, let's, let's go. Let's and go check. and have a look. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I know this is I'm not gonna and say I'm sorry, but, but me and my friend had a bet that we have the same shoes. And oh, now you can mm. see it. Oh I my told God. you. They are yeah. different shoes. No, 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 well, guys, guys, I lost the bet. Tell you what, I'm gonna get everybody shots. Okay, I like the okay. idea. I like yeah, the idea. I like the idea. Guys, the shots are here. Here we go for you, for you. We're going for use as yeah, well. Look, Scottish guy buying drinks doesn't happen every day. Okay, here we go. Grab those, Thank and of you. course, there's one for you as well. Oh, Cheers! You. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Here's to meeting Cheers. new people, Cheers. making new friends. Cheers. Cheers. Now let's see how we can fuck it up. That's the right option. Um, obviously, they're not the same shoes, but it's a reason to send her in there, and yeah, it works really well in this case. Ten minutes later. Wow. Nasty, it's great to meet you. It's great to meet nice a girl who's so tall. And you carry it so well. Like, Thank you. Imagine in the future if we if we had kids and got married, those kids would be enormous. Yeah. By the way, when we are married, you're not you're not borrowing any of my clothes, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I, I prefer mine. I think they're much nicer well, than yours. I can't you can argue take my with shoes that. though. Yeah, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Her name is Nastya. That's a red flag. <laughs> Tell her she turned you on when she was a bitch to you. <laughs> you really are not hot enough to be so bitchy. Say you thought she was rude before, but actually she is cool. Show them your mangina. <sighs> Do I... Oh... Please let me know. Please tell me you're picking the... What I think you're picking, boys. Yep. Yep. Guys, I'm going to show you my party trick. Look, everybody look the other way for a moment. Look the other way. Look the other way. <laughs> look, guys. Look. It's a mangina. Oh, my God. It's a mangina. Everybody. It's a fucking mangina! <laughs> it wasn't very good. Mm -hmm. Probably shouldn't do it, yeah? 
Tell her she turned you on when she was a bitch to you. You really are not hot enough to be so bitchy. Say you thought she was rude before, but actually she is cool. Try it again. <laughs> Anyone else? Honesty is the best policy. Okay, I got one vote for D and one vote for B. Any tiebreakers? Nope, okay. Anastasia, look, I'm gonna be honest with you. You're only a six, maybe a seven after a few of these. And like, if you wanted to be an eight, you'd have to work on your personality a lot and get a boob job. But you're gonna have to try a lot harder if you wanna get with this. Fuck you, you're not even a three, and I hate your accent. His accent. Whoa. This is just insulting her. Basically, yeah. Guys, I want to show you my party trick. Look, everybody look the other way for a moment. Look the other way. Since there was no tiebreaker, we'll do both. Look the other way. <laughs> look, guys. Look, it's a mangina. Oh my god! It's a mangina! Everybody! It's a fucking mangina! <laughs> it wasn't very good. Anastasia, you know earlier when we were at the bar, you were kind of dismissive to me, and uh, I thought you were maybe just like a rude person. But actually, I'm glad I've had a chance to get to know you and see that you're actually a really cool person. Thank you. I think it's just good sometimes to give a person a second chance. Yeah. That's the right option because you've picked her up on, you know, what she's done wrong. <laughs> it don't work this time, I know it. Willing to give her a second chance. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so I'm doing this festival in Twickenham. It's really good fun. You get like unlimited free posh food, champagne, oh, lobster, nice. steak. It's that? great. In Twickenham, to hey. South London, you should come. Thanks for a drink, Leo. But I think Anastasia is getting bored, so I think you should leave. Tell him you're finishing your conversation and ask him to buy you a drink. Brush him off. Kiss the guy to dominate him. Tell the girl she could do much better than these inbred losers. Oh my god, all of these seem fun. Totally working mangina into quiplash. Attaboy. <coughs> All of these seem like fun answers, though. See, if lesbians turn men on, faggots turn women on. Logic. Frosted, do you agree? Good enough. Come on, man, what's the problem? Let's be friends. What is wrong with you, man? Oh, what is wrong with you? Bring my hugger. head, bring my head. What's wrong with you? I'm not gonna try that with these guys. No, I wouldn't suggest that either. Oh, I, mean, I wanna see what D does. Tell the girl she could do much better than these inbred losers. Anastasia, Reporting why are you them. hanging around with these inbred freaks, these, these gym nutcases full of steroids, their big veins popping out in their necks? You're a hot babe, Honestly, Anastasia. You could be with a piece of team. prime scotch beef like me, baby. I don't know what's going on. You were really nice until now, and now you're insulting my friends just like this. I'm really disappointed. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Does, does this mean you're not going to sleep with me? Uh, not good to piss off the friends, right? Never good to piss off the friends. Because she's got a lot of history with them and they're friends for a reason and you're just a nobody. Yep. Not going to work with her. 
Let's see what telling him what to do uh, does. Well, look, we're just finishing off the conversation. You can have her back in five minutes. In the meantime, why don't you go get us a drink? No, I'm not buying you any drink. Well, whatever. Anyway, Anastasia, this festival in Twickenham, you should come down. It's amazing. It lasts all day. There's like food and booze laid on. It's really good fun. I think you'd love it. Really? Yeah, I've got a spare ticket with your name on it. I was going to take my mate Pete, but I've decided to take you instead. No. I'll think about it. OK. This is a little bit cheeky, and I think in any situation where you've well, got protective guys, off, maybe, especially yeah. if they're tough guys, um, you need to be very respectful, get them on side, and yeah, play it carefully. Unless you're a UFC fighter, and then you can do what you want. I don't think you can do what you want, even if you're a UFC fighter. Well, they won't mess with you. Yeah, she won't mess with you either. You don't like UFC fighters? Well, if you can't get on with her friends and you start, you know, pulling them over your shoulder, she's not going to be that impressed. Hmm. Jake's supposed to bring documents at your table in the morning so that okay. you sign it and uh, for the project to go on. Okay. I supposed to have it by 10. No, he said you're going to bring it uh, before 9 o'clock. Okay. So that's perfect. Okay. Cheeky. Speak cool. English, you limey. Try to get back into the conversation. Wait until they finish. Steer the conversation back. Hmm. Looks like they finished, so... Let's go with... C. Hey, so you said you work for a construction company, yeah? Yeah, I'm a supervisor. Cool, cool. What project are you working on at the moment? Um, for the office, office buildings. You're building an office? How's, yeah. how's that going? Yeah, very good. Cool. You know my sister's actually an architect. Oh, really? Interesting. It's great. Good job. This is the correct choice. It's always good to steer the conversation back. You don't want to be left at the sidelines not being able to get back into the conversation. And I guess if you do want to ruin something for another guy, you can just do the opposite and have a <laughs> private conversation with the object of his affection. Yep, jeopardize that for him. <laughs> Gosh, I feel a bit tipsy after this shot. <laughs> oh, what's this music? It's really nice. Do you know where it is? No, I have no idea. I want to go dancing. <laughs> go to dance with her or don't dance. It's not manly. Tipsy. Bingo! What shall it be, boys? B then A or just A? May as well let him dance. Got it. I love dancing. Let's go and dance together. Let's go. Ooh, and the icing on the cake right there. This is great, and I think, you know, even if guys can't dance, that first they should learn at least some basics, but also in this case, you know, these tough guys don't look like big dancers, uh, so it's a way to get her alone. And I think even if you're doing just the two-step, it shows confidence and it gives you some time with her. Oh, here we go. Do a super dance routine. High five and spin the guy. Grab the girl and try to dance really close. Do dance floor limbo with a scarf. Frosted says B, all right. Hey, look who it is. Look who it is, buddy. All right. There we go. And off you spin into your boyfriend's arms. 
the hell? What the hell are you doing, man? Just take it easy. Nice. I like that. Oh, but well, he looked like a ballerina. That's quite sweet. <laughs> These guys love looking like ballerinas. Oh, don't they just? <laughs> Aww. I enjoyed that. I don't normally enjoy dancing, but that was that was fun. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Thank now you. surprise Thank vagina. But don't overdo it, because I'm a feminist. Okay, now we're at crimson. That red flag just went to a crimson. Does that mean you don't give a head? I don't know if I describe myself as feminist, but I believe in equality of opportunity. I describe myself as a feminazi too, playfully. Going to rant about male suicide and depression. Fail, fail. <laughs> Do you give her the facts? Yes. You're a feminist. I suppose you're going to lecture me on male privilege next. Like, where's the male What's privilege that? when there's so much suicide, no, wait. depression, no, wait. drug abuse in men? Wait, and another listen, thing, listen. another thing, the tampon tax. People complain about 20p on a packet of tampons. Can like, you, try paying for dinner. Try to and to me? Another thing, another thing, like 97% of workplace point? related deaths are male. That means for every 33 men who, like, fall off an oil rig or get crushed in a mine collapse. Like, just one woman, just one woman gets lost inside a duvet cover and can't find her way out. Oh, and another thing, I bet, I bet some male feminist from The Guardian is going to try and ban this game. Oh. Well She's played, gone. Richard. Well played. Uh, at least you bought me this drink. <sighs> way to break the fourth wall. I love it. I mean, a little bit morbid? Not the time or the place. Or the time or the place. <clears throat> oh, so you're a feminist, so I suppose that means sucking dick is off the table? I give very good kicks. Oh! Bastard. Oh! Oh! I, I don't suppose I could get a hand job? <laughs> uh, oh! Oh! Think about that one. Yeah, I mean that's not going to work with any women that I'm that I know. How about you? Has that ever worked for you? Um, I, I don't normally. No, I don't think I've asked that specifically. Good, I'm glad to hear it. And I don't know if there's a correlation between. <laughs> Told you, go for the man, China. Low job. I can safely assure you there isn't. Yeah, I'd describe myself as a feminazi too. Well, I love shouting at men. Are you joking? Yeah, I'm joking. I'm a comedian, remember? Come on. Okay. So, feminazi. Good word? No, I just think there's too many negative connotations with that one. Even well, playfully, I mean... perhaps? Uh, no, not even with an LOL on the end, no. <laughs> See, that's Oh, you know what? Uh, recently, I signed this petition against oh, really? the sexist game on Steam, and I think you should do it too. Oh boy. Agree that it's a terrible, misogynistic game. Tell her that's where you learned your smooth pickup moves. Say that the game is great. Yeah, play that game. That's where I learned all the smooth moves to pick you up. So you really play that sexist game? Oh yeah. No, no, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe I need to finish that game. I'm missing something. This could be true, but yeah, it's considered wrong for some reason. <laughs> All right, Terry wants the truth. 
Oh yeah, I totally agree with you about that game. The, the guys who make it are misogynistic pricks, especially that, yeah. that long-haired one. Even Piers Morgan hates him. I think men have to realise that their time is over, and now it's time for, for the rise of women, and women should take over. Like Total girl power. beta. Yeah, I'm glad you think this way. That's cool. What are you doing? Come on. Not right, obviously. <laughs> so do you play any computer games yourself? No, not at the moment. But I used to play SimCity when I was younger. Of Sim course City, you did. SimCity, I used to play that too. That must be why you moved into construction. Never right? go again. Hey. Time is up. You had your fun. Now, fuck off and leave me alone. Aggressively put them in their place. I'll go if she wants me to. She can make up her own mind. That's clearly the right answer. Kick all the guys' asses. That's clearly the right answer. But is it A or C? Fourth wall integrity at 20%. C? All right. Someone's agreeing with me. Listen, I have had enough of you meatheads. The guns C, are going to teach you a lesson. Kung Fu fighting by oh, okay. okay. Yeah, that's right. Take me Not this Let's time. So obviously Leo is not a big tough guy, but what do you think if he was? Is he I right? No, yeah. I don't even think if he was. These are supposed to be her friends. He needs to make an effort with them. It's not surprising where this didn't work. Guys, it's 2022. She's a, she's a feminist. She can make up her own mind. Anastasia, do you want me to go? No. Guys, just take it easy. He's not a bad guy. I Are prefer him to stay. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. You've got your own personal bodyguards? Yeah. Man, I would not want to tangle with you. <laughs> Current year. That's the right option, well done. And I like this one because, you know, she said that she's a feminist, she's obviously a strong, independent woman. You don't so need nobody you're giving yet. her the choice there. So this guy has come in to cause trouble, and instead of it potentially escalating, uh, you're asking her to deal with it for you. Yeah, you're putting her in the higher status, giving her value, and putting the ball in her court for her to control the situation. What's up, Poos? Hey, Johnny. How's it going, bud? Well, you know, it was really nice talking to you, but I'd prefer to stay here with my friends. Mm. <sighs> so you did get right to the end, but you did way too much wrong, so this is the worst ending possible. Yeah, well, nice one. This is the right option, or one of the right options uh, is something that can work really oh, nice. well if you can find a nice, friendly lady at the bar, or even if you go with some female friends. Yeah, and I See, think if that fighting had been playing, he would have the girl you're the trying to approach girl. someone to instantly mm, connect with. I don't know, have man. Have you ever done that? There wasn't even enough time to start kung fu fighting on a long fucking I'm play. <laughs> That's the right option. Um, obviously, they're not the same shit. Two levels left for me, boys. <clears throat> but I think I'll save those for next week. Or the next stream. Show me what you need. As soon as you pick the feminist, you got the bad ending. Well, yeah, it was wired to be that way from the get-go, it seems. Alright, sorry you got here so late, Johnny, but this is where we're ending the stream today. Uh, Thank you all for coming out so far. I hope you enjoyed what you managed to see. Uh, 
as you can see I've got a new addition to the screen there a little uh, schedule uh, list there so uh, it won't be uh, concrete this week because I'm going out of town this weekend so but usually on Mondays and Tuesdays I'll be doing a stream uh, around uh, 5.30 central, uh, 6.30 eastern in the evening. Uh, if I, sometimes I'll do a stream on Sunday uh, around the same time and sometimes I'll do streams on Fridays after Minions of the Zoo. Uh, those will probably be a lot of some uh, music streams as well as other game nights depending on the mood. Uh, not every Friday guaranteed though so yeah. Uh, look forward to those and uh, have a good one guys. I'll see you guys later. Fun. Who's for Chinese? Mm -hmm.